Buenos dias, mushroom lovers and forest nymphs and fairies of the world. I'm standing here in this beautiful tropical Costa Rican rainforest and just happened upon a huge patch of turkey tail or Trimedes versicolor. So we'll just talk a little bit about how to identify this beautiful medicinal mushroom and what some of its medicinal properties are. So when you harvest a mushroom, you want to harvest from the base where it's making contact with the log, kind of a clean pick, and you see that's my seed on the end, little white strands, and so this entire log is inoculated with turkey tail mycelium. So even when we pick a single mushroom, it'll continue to flush over and over again because these mushrooms are like the fruiting body of like an apple tree. These are the apples of the apple tree, but the whole apple tree is actually under the bark inside of this log. This entire log is crawling with white threads of turkey tail mycelium. So you can identify turkey tail through its different colored striations or the stripes that alternate. So it's dark and then light, dark and then light. And then another feature to look for is the size of the pores. So they're visible and there's a lot of turkey tail lookalikes that once you look underneath, you won't actually see any pores. They're either too small or they're not there at all. So the turkey tail pores, you can see them with your naked eye. I would guess there's probably like four to five per square millimeter and um, another good identifying feature is its smell <sighs> Unfortunately, you can't smell behind the screen, but it has a very particular aroma that kind of smells like the ground after it rains. So this is a really cool special phenomenon that happens with some mushrooms um, where they actually encounter, in this case, a vine that it actually grew around the turkey tail mushroom remaining alive and they can just coexist symbiotically together instead of out competing or killing each other. <laughs> Ridonculus pile. <laughs> Ridonculus is the